Okay, so today we are going to do a tutorial for the Bob Dylan song Tangled Up in Blue. And um, it's actually a fairly easy song to play. Um, it's a classic song, so um, hopefully you get something good out of this and be able to uh, serenade that special somebody if you were feel so inclined to do. Uh, I want to tell you this, that uh, I learned a couple months ago that I have something in common with a very famous rock guitar player. Uh, the Edge of U2 was self-taught, as I am. I've never taken a guitar lesson, paid nothing, and neither had he. So uh, I'm sure there's others out there, but I just, I just prefer learning how to do stuff on my own. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get ready, get in there to do Tangled Up in Blue. This is on an album called Blood on the Tracks, which is kind of a weird title I've always thought for an album full of ballads. Um, people say that sounds, sounds like a weird title, but that's what he picked, probably because he was high. So, um, alright, so here's the thing. There are a number of tutorials for this song on YouTube. But, um, this one is to the record. This one is to the record. Like, this is the way he plays it on the album. So, you know, when you see these power chords down here and up and, and, and all this stuff up here on the first, second, and third fret, that's improvisation. I'm going to show you how to play it the way he played it on the album, okay? And it's that simple. And it's actually pretty simple song to play. So um, again, standard tuning and we're going to go ahead and get to it. And uh, I'll even put in the description that this is how he played it on the album. Alright, so the first thing we have to do is an intro. And the intro is incredibly simple. Okay, so we have what we call an A chord, right? Okay, the A chord is the middle finger on the second fret at what is that? Is that D? Yeah, that's D. And then the four finger tucked in right behind it on the uh, G string. And then the ring finger tucked in right below that on the B string. So you have three of these fingers that are tucked into the second fret. D, G, and B. Okay? D, G, and B. Well, just like that. Alright. So what you're going to do is this is what you call A. This is a guitar chord called A, and you're going to play an A with an A sus, all right? An A sus is simply where you take your pinky down here, and you put it alongside of the um, uh, B string with the ring finger. And so, I'm going to play this for you slowly, so that way you can pick up on it easier. Okay, so basically what he does is he's going to do this still right here. Right? Right? Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, right? Four times. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. One last time. You have to end on the down, because there's a reason for this. End up on the down, because then you're going to put your pinky on that B at the third fret to get your sus. Then you're gonna strum up. See? See that? Okay, so that is the intro. He's just playing that over and over and over again until he gets to the verse and I'm gonna say the words to the song as we're going so that way you know exactly what to do and when because my desire is for you to watch this video maybe a couple of times I would even advise you to play along or just work, go along with me as we're watching it so that you can just pick it up and play it just right away it's a very simple song even probably some beginners can play it right away okay so after you go through the A and the A sus, 
you're going to go right back into the A. And you want to be in this shape of the A. You can play the A this way, but it's best to play this song with the A shape because it makes it easier to play because you've got to go through every part of the song has basically got the A chord in it. And it's pretty hard to play if you if you're, have your forefinger down right here and then have to go to the, to the next chord. This shape right here helps you to be able to play this song. So no matter what part of the song you're going to, when you come to the A, please try and play the A shape, even if you're not comfortable with it, okay? All right, so. We go into the verse, right? And you gotta be careful to play it only this way because you won't be able to play it. It's pretty precise. So it's it's not it's not a long time you're gonna spend on these chords. It's pretty quick. So Okay, so here's the verse. Early one morning. Right? Early one morning. Then you're gonna go to G6, which is a G, right? Four finger on the second at A, middle finger on the third at low E, and you're gonna have the four, the ring finger all the way down here on the high E string on three, right? Okay, so early one morning, the sun was shining, right? Go right back to A. I was laying in bed Wondering if she changed at all And then D If her hair was still red They do it again Her folks they said Our lives together Sure was gonna be rough They never did like Mama's homemade dress Papa's bank book wasn't big enough and that's that that's the verse so from a to g6 to a to g6 to a to g6 to d if you're playing this without the music or without the help of a video and you can't figure out how to sing the song and play it fitting everything in it's because you're playing each chord too long you gotta play it like this. Okay, I'll do it one more time. Early one morning, right? The sun was shining. I was laying in bed. Wondering if she changed at all, if her hair was still red. Okay, same thing goes for any other verse. It's the same thing for all the verses. She was married when we first met. Soon to be divorced I helped her out of a jam I guess But I used a little too much force You gotta fit three sets of A and G6 in Followed by a D And then go right back to A, G6 three times Followed by a D twice For each verse in this song Because at the end Then he goes Okay, I just kept looking at the side of her face and the spotlight so clear. Okay, now listen to this. And later on, when the crowd thinned out, right, is you come up here to, uh, and we go back to the first verse. She turned around to look at me as I was uh, walking away. Uh, just to give you an example. So, uh, going back to the first verse, so we go, uh, Early one morning, the sun was shining. I was laying in bed, wondering if she'd change at all if her hair was still red. Her folks had set our lives together. Sure was gonna be rough. They never did like Mama's homemade dress. Papa's bank book wasn't big enough. Okay. Then you go up here to A. And I was standing on the side of the road, right? With rain falling on my shoes. Heading out for the East Coast Lord knows I paid some dues Getting through Tang 
tangled up in blue. So what we do there is, I was standing on the side of the road. That's E, not E minor. E is this deal right here. Forefinger on the first fret of G, ring finger on the second fret of D, and middle finger on the second fret of A. I was standing on the side of the road. And this is what you call F sharp minor. You're basically going to bar two or three strings on the second fret with your forefinger. And you're going to come down and you're going to bar all the rest of the strings on the fourth fret with your pinky finger. That's F sharp minor, right? So forefinger barring the top three strings on the second fret and the ring finger barring everything else on the fourth fret. So I was standing on the side of the road with rain falling on my shoes. Then back to G6, heading out for the East Coast. D, Lord knows I've paid some dues. Getting through. Go back to E. Okay. And then tangled up in blue. It's just one strum on these three chords. It's G6, tangled, D, up, in, A, blue. Okay, now here's the important part. Here's the important part. Tangled, up, in, blue. Remember how I said it's really important to play the A shape? Because you've got to go right back into that intro. Okay, the intro continues throughout the song too. Da -na 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 -na. So you have to go right back into that A shape and then start up your A sus along with it. So this is kind of how it sounds, okay? So this is the intro, right? And this is the same thing for every part of this song, okay? That's it. That is Tangled Up in Blue. Um, my favorite Dylan songs seem to um, have a pattern to them. I seem to enjoy Bob Dylan songs where every chorus seems to be the same. Like, right, right quick, I'll show you. Um, I made a YouTube tutorial probably two years ago for a Dylan song called Shelter from the Storm. And literally, this is the chords for that song. It's it's E, right? So it's so and 
That's the whole song. Or you can also play Gates of Eden. This is just one verse of Gates of Eden. See, I'm playing the same thing. So, those three songs I just showed you, although this card guitar sounds kind of rough, I also don't have a pick. Um, Dylan is a lot of repetition. So, I hope you got something good out of this tutorial and like on it, subscribe to it, encourage other heathen to subscribe to it. It's all good. And um, thanks for watching.